If it wasn't so scary, it'd almost be funny. The way that we accept the term artificial on our food labels. Why would we eat artificial food? Now, it isn't funny though. It's actually dangerous. Now, I've told you about the dangers of artificial food colorings and how many of those have actually been taken off of the market because they've been proven to cause cancer. And this may be the future for some of our artificial food flavorings like flavor enhancers and sweeteners. You see, flavor enhancers and sweeteners are actually dangerous because they stimulate our adrenal glands, they stimulate our insulin system, they stimulate the mechanism in our body that actually will recalculate the way that we accept sweetness. Now here's what I mean. In our brain, we have the ability to associate sweetness with energy sweetness with calories and depending on the sweetness and depending upon the sweetness of the food we eat then our brain will anticipate that it will get so much energy when we use artificial sweeteners we confuse the brain the brain is expecting to get a corresponding amount of energy from the sweetness meter that it detected and as a consequence it actually leads to greater and greater cravings for sweetness, greater and craver need to satisfy that craving, which ultimately means that you'll either consume a lot more of a low calorie thing and thus eat the same amount of calories or actually harm your body worse than you would than if you had simply had something made with sugar. Now granted that sugar should be natural, unwashed, organic sugar but your body knows what to do with glucose. It breaks down carbohydrates and turns them into glucose, but your body does not know what to do with these artificial sweeteners that come with zero calories and completely disrupt everything your brain ever learned about how to prepare its energy cycle. So artificial sweeteners are another ingredient you should never let into the food that you put into your body. All sweeteners that are artificial are on my do not use list. But there's actually a couple of things that you may be confused about. And one is high fructose corn syrup. And the other is fructose. You see, high fructose corn syrup is made out of corn or white grape juice. And it's a very low glycemic index which is very, very harmful to the body. And fructose is slower extracted from sugar and is slower burning, although still is a sugar. So fructose is just fruit sugar, but high fructose corn syrup is like rocket fuel that doesn't belong in a car that you drive on the street. Now, I'm not here to tell anybody what lifestyle they should choose. Um, however, Number five on our list is meat. The overconsumption of meat and the consumption of meat that has been so adulterated that's the ingredients in the meat that you need to be very careful about. And here's what I'm referring to. First of all, antibiotics added to meat lead to drug resistant bacteria that have led to flesh eating bacteria that never existed in the world before. Hormones added to cows have led to precocious puberty and are leading young girls into menstruation and into, of course, development. And they look like young women in the third and fourth grade. That's unacceptable. In addition to that, the fact that cloning and genetically modified food is being fed to these animals Genetically modified food becomes part of their flesh and we eat that flesh. And it's now been proven that genetically modified organisms have become part of the cells of people who never consumed a genetically modified plant simply because they consumed an animal who had eaten that genetically modified food. When we 
change nature it's a very slippery slope and we don't know where the bottom will be if you do consume animal flesh let me suggest that you eat line caught salmon line caught fish wild fish not farmed fish and not fish caught in unethical ways like huge nets and things like that number two if you consume cows I suggest that you eat grass-fed organic beef only because one of the worst things you could do is feed an animal genetically modified diet and then try to avoid genetically modified organisms in addition to that if you do choose to eat chickens eat free-range chicken that is not kept in a small box its entire life in a very cruel fashion and I don't even want to tell you about what pigs go through in order to become food for your plate so the overconsumption of meat and the consumption of adultered meat is a true health issue so the ingredients that you never want in the food that you eat are those hormones those antibiotics the genetically modified food and the unethical practices that are used in the producing of our sustenance so if you bless the food that you eat before you consume it if you give thanks for it I would much rather be giving thanks for something that did not make me feel guilty for having consumed it for not consuming something that will actually detract from my greater health as opposed to contribute to it my name is David Sandoval the author of the green food Bible an advocate for pure organic living food and someone who's gonna fight for you